a couple of years ago brackets created a mesh generation tutorial in unity so this is my conversion of it so i'll put my little twist on it so in this video we're gonna create a cube with all default cube so to start off let's go into blender so i could explain the process and then we're gonna create it from in godot so here we have the default cube let's close this window here and i'm gonna use my grease pencil and so the basics of all 3d objects is each object has uh points and then each four points create a quad but in godot it converts a quad into two triangles so each three points create a triangle and the way we're gonna do this in godot we're going to start from the top here we're gonna create each of these points and then we have something called indices those are the coordinates saying which which three vertices create a triangle so it's gonna be an array starting from top to one so let's let's map this out i'm gonna use a grease pencil and let me set that to be on the surface it's already set so we're going to start from this top edge so that's going to be indices of zero or index zero then one two three and we go down around here and call this one four and five and around the other side six and then seven so Let's go into Godot. So we're just gonna have this as a visual so we can keep track of where we are. So back in Godot, let's pull the screen. So first we need to create a mesh instance CD and we can throw a script on there. We could call this uh mesh gen. So there's a few stuff. Let me zoom in here. There's a few stuff that we're gonna need. Let's make this a tool so we can see the updates. And I'm gonna call a uh, update on this thing. All right. And let's see in here. Let's create this function that we're gonna make. So, uh, gen mesh. Let's pass that for now. And here, say update. We say gen mesh. We're gonna use this to update whenever we uh, press the update and then set it back to false. All right. So, this is where we're going to do everything. So first we need a array mesh that we're going to attach to the mesh instance. So what we do here is we need to define a bunch of points in that var. And what in Godot 4 we use a packed vector 3 array and I think in Godot 3 it's pool vector 3 array. So we could say var call this vertices and do this fact vector 3 and that takes an array of vector 3s so we could just come here could make let's make some space here so let's make our first triangle so we're going to create the first three vertices and those are all vector 3s let's make one three put the space here three, zero 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 we'll copy this one over oops forgot to put the array we'll copy this and paste it two times so the direction we want to go in is clockwise so on x you're going to move this one over and then the last one should both be on x as well on one and then on z on one that way we could create a triangle so let's put this out now we need the indices remember i mentioned that that's for the triangle so know what uh what vertices create a triangle so we could say indices and that's a pool float array or pack sorry or int sorry could use a 32 for now then go here create an array Oops. and we pass in for the first triangle we're gonna keep each one in the same row so this and this and this so each indices refers to each one of these the uh, index for this factory if you guys so this is zero this is one this is two so that creates the triangle now down here 
we need to create another array that holds all these vertices and indices. So we could say var array. Then we need to resize it and we say mesh dot array max. Now that we have the array resize, we can specify what index to put each item. So array could say boom say mesh dot vertices array vertices or vertex sorry then we pass in the vertex vertices to that then array mesh indices index indices same difference plural and now what we do here we say array mesh dot oops dot add service from arrays and we set the primitive type to be triangles this way you could see it and we pass that array and now mesh equals to array mesh remember we're on top of this mesh instance so we're just getting this mesh and adding it to here we could save then if we reload we should see it right in the center here so let's reload the scene let's see if we can find it there it is Left on it and that's our first thing so in order to create a second one you already know what to do go here what's the next two so zero two and three but we need to define three but that's the fourth vertex that would be vector three dot zero one oops, zero zero one okay if we go back here reload again it should appear there you go so in order to create a cube now we go back here I'm gonna add all of these quickly you need the ones for the sides okay, I'm gonna set this to be the top so let's put all of these to one on Y so they're gonna be elevated so let's save that and we could do a reload to see it move up one unit so reload scene there you go. up one unit from the center and could copy all of these paste it and could just move this these down and now the fourth or fifth point but four in the index is zero zero and here is where we have to specify all the points now if i reload the scene there you go that's the full cube so now I have a light in the scene. Where is it? I didn't pretty far up. Let me move it down a bit. Now this is the new issue. So if you want to get lighting to work currently, let's first add a material here. Don't add it to the mesh, add it to the geometry. Different material override. Add a standard material. The lighting information is all over the place. So we need to figure out normals. So instead of trying to do all of it manually we could use a surface material but first let's create another array that will be the uv map so let's say var uvs and that will be equal to a pool vector 2 array packed vector 2 array and a uv goes from 0 to 1 on each uh, x and y or u and v in this case and i'll just Paste in default for now. Okay, so these UVs, each one corresponds to where this is on the UV map. So zero is at this point on the UV. I never showed you the UV, so let's look at it in Blender. Open a new window here. And I could go to UV editor. So by default, this cube is laid out like this. But what I did was make, wait, let me go to Fairface. Uh, get rid of this thing. You can select this one. So what I did was UV unwrap. So it's full on there. Then the bottom, I set it to be full on there as well. So this is basically what I did. So both the top and bottom are set to the same position these now are at zero zero are all at uh 
the corners, I should say. So down here, let's add that to the array. So we say array, array text UVs equals UVs. So there shouldn't be much of an update there until we started using textures. So let's reload, save scene. Now if we drag an icon on this uh, color, see that it's the top and the bottom. And then the sides are pretty much nothing because it's the edge of the texture. All right, so what I was talking about is normals for the lighting. What we, should, what we have to use here, we're gonna get rid of all of this. So let's comment this out. And we're gonna create a surface tool. So let's say var surf tool equal surface tool. So new. And then we call surface tool dot begin. We set the type to be triangles as usual. And then we're gonna do a loop through all the uh, all the vertices. But we're gonna do in range because you can do multiple, you can set multiple things that way. So say vertices that size. Oops. In the surf tool, we we're we gonna set all the positions of the vertices. So we could say set UV to do it in this order. Set UV, we say vert sorry UV, sorry. UV at I, and we could say surf to dot add vertex. We could say vertices at I. Then now we have to do another for loop indices. So now we could say surf to dot add index. And we say, could just say I here actually. So with the normals, instead of doing it manually, you could just generate it right here. So we say generate normals, and then we say surf tool, and then say surf tool dot commit. This passes the array mesh, and then we add the mesh as usual. So mesh equal a mesh. So we could go back here, look at the ladder when it changes. So it's just say reload scene. There you go. So let's reassign that material. And the material 3D. And set the color back again to this guy. There you go. Now we have lighting and mesh. And that's it for this tutorial. So in the next one, I might do terrain generation from the same code using noise and stuff like that. So like and subscribe and have a good one, guys.